Good morning, everyone. This is the IT12 Zoom lesson this morning. We're going to carry on with SQL Unit 4.3, and today's um, section is Date Functions. I hope that you're all uh, nice and warm. It's a very cold day outside, a wet day. So perfect weather to sit in front of your computer and do some coding. Okay, so let us begin. I just want to move slightly out the way and go into presentation view. There we go. Okay, so as I said, today is uh, date functions of SQL. Um, I'm just going to recap a bit from last week. So when creating calculated columns, the names of functions such as year, month, and day cannot be used as field names. The same as our um, designated uh, words in Delphi, like begin, end, while, do. So the same in SQL is we cannot use the words year, month, or day. So let's quickly recap the functions, how to um, write the different types of date functions. If I would like to have 15 October 2018, then I would have format, then my field name, then day, day, month, month, month. So if there's four M's, it tells um, not just Delphi, but any programming language that it needs to write out the entire date. And then year, 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 four Y's represent the entire year. If I would like to have a more... Um, digital type of um, date, then I would have day, day, month, month, year, year. If I wanted the date with the time, okay, I could say day, day, month, month, do you see only the first three letters, if it's three M's, full year, and then H-H-N-N-S-S. So H-H stands for the hour, N-N here stands for minutes, and then S-S for the seconds. If I am working with income and I would like to have um, decimals, then I would write it in this 0, 0.00 in quotation. Or if I don't want the decimal to show, then I'm going to say 0. Point hash hash. Okay, so in that way, it won't display the decimal point. If I'm looking at, remember, if it fixed your uh, fixed format, um, then I, for example, currency, if I use the word currency, and do you see currency is in double quotes for the SQL, then it is going to, depending on the settings of my computer, if my computer is set to South Africa, it's going to put an R up there. If it's set to America or any other country, it will put that um, currency um, sign in front of it. Okay, I can even do calculations here to get a percentage sign. Okay, great. Let me just get the chat going. Remember, if you have any questions, you are welcome to ask here. Ah, done it again. And I will be checking on the chat function every now and then. Okay. Yeah. The next one that we are going to look at here is select all movie titles and the year of their release and display the latest movies first. Okay, so here's a couple of things. First of all, I'm saying select all my movies. So that could be, but I don't want just all movies. I want the movie titles. So there's my field and the year of their release, okay? So that the field there, I'm not just going to say year, I'm gonna say year release date. So that gives me a specific year as, and then um, how it must be displayed. Remember we spoke about that in the previous video, year released from table where, and then specifically order by. I want it ordered in descending order. Okay, so let's test that. I just want to get my uh, SQL up and running. 
Okay, so select title, year, release date. Remember the full name of the field, otherwise it won't know what you're looking for. From as re year release, so now you're specifying a new field. So this field did not exist before the time. From TBL movies, order by. So this is where you are starting to sort. So this is in your pet, you'll be required and your exams, you will be required to be able to sort through a query. And here I'm going to specify once it's sorted, according to the release date, In descending we don't have to write the whole descending just ASC for ascending and DESC for descending and as you can see here let me you will be able to see that here are all my titles in from descending so the most recent date down to the oldest we've got Star Wars there and even one that they forgot to give us a year released date okay great okay so uh, i've got a question here how do we set currency to south africa um if you are asking in your settings you will have to go to what i will do is i will actually get you a a guide to uh, change the settings on your computer it's not something that it's just going to be a two minute explanation because you need to go into your program settings. Okay, so I will post that. I will just keep a, a note of that one. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to go out of presentation mode because we are going to do some of the activities together today. So let me get here and see what font okay that will be easy to read or we'll let me take a dark blue uh, no give me a seriously blue there we go okay so i would like you you are going to use your movies mdb the sql again the same program as that I've, I've uploaded for you and I'd like you to give me the SQL for show all movie titles, release date, and the year that they are released. So let us see who will be able to do that first. So please write your answer on the chat for me. Um, I know that you won't be able to see the chat. I can see it on my side. And then as soon as I get an answer, I'm going to post it on the screen here for you. The second one you're also going to do for me is show all the movie titles on the first day of the month. Okay, again, so my field is going to be titles with release date and I'm looking for the first day of the month. Okay, so ah, I see some of you are still waking up it's a little early this morning but i can see we've got a quite a few of you that are part participating this morning okay so i'm going to help you out here so the first answer here show all movie titles let me just move this out the way here show all movie titles release date and the year of the release uh, that should actually be date not date dates okay so i would write select let's actually do it in sql for you then it will be easier then you can see the answer select title my second field is release date and then i want year from release date as the year now I'm defining my new column, okay? As year, you're gonna see that this column here is going to change depending on what I call it. 
from make this a bit wider TVL movies and ah, I have forgotten something what have I done Let me just get to the front select title release date year re uh, year release date as year underscore release from TBL movies okay why is it giving me exception S select statement includes a reversed word or an argument name that is misspelt hmm okay who can help me out with my punctuation As released, you are ah, thank you, thank you. As you execute, see, guys, we are a team. Um, it's sometimes not that easy just to type in. Um, so I'm very thankful when we work as a team. So there we go. Here we have, do you see our release date? Okay, and then just here, all I was requesting is the year that the movie was released in so let's copy this into our powerpoint okay Okay, let's try the next one. Show all the movie titles released on the first day of the month. Who can get that one? Okay, so what we're going to have is select star because it says all the movies from TVL movies where so i'm putting a condition in and this time where the day is release date my release date must be equal to one okay why because i'm looking for the first date now if i said i wanted the 10th of um that each month then that would become the 10th Let's just make sure my TLB, TLB movies where date release equals one. And there we go. As you can see here, we'll make it a bit bigger. There are my different fields. So all these dates, can you see, are only from the first of each month. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so you are going to complete the rest of this activity for me. Um, I'm going to carry on with the slides. And press F5, let's see, if, there we go. Okay, so the next part that we are going to take a look at is um, string functions. So just like Delphi, SQL allows you to ma manipulate strings in different ways. The table below shows four different string functions you can use in your SQL queries. So these you are quite acquainted with. The CAT students also have been doing this week, len, left, right, and mid. So um, you will start seeing that a lot of the coding that we do is used across many different languages, whether it is in Excel, Java, Python, Ruby, any of the different languages. Okay, so len, as you know by now, returns the number of characters in a string. That stands for length. So find the length of my string. Left returns the indicated number of characters from the start of the string. So here I would have left my string, and then I'm going to indicate the number of characters right is going to go to the end of my sentence or the end of my word 
and then count out a certain amount of characters. Now, where would I use something like this? If you were generating a username or a password for someone, you could actually use a SQL statement instead of just writing it in Delphi. Then mid, this is going to return uh, numbers in the middle of a sentence. So for example, let's take the word functions. Let me just get my highlighter. Okay, so functions. If I said to you, I wanted the one, two, three, four, from the fifth letter, and I wanted four characters, then only T-I-O-N. Okay, so that, that is when I would use mid. Now mid would be mid, my string, so whatever string I have there, and then the first character would indicate, I would say here, five. Okay, and then the next um, parameter is going to be how many characters do I want it to copy, and I want four characters. Okay. So, I hope you all got that. Let's go to the next slide. Okay, in this activity, what we're going to look at is show the first five characters of all studios' names. Okay, so I want to just have a little code for each um, studio. Instead of having to type out, imagine you had to type out the word paramount every single time. Or Universal Studios. So if I had a little code where I could just say the first few characters and then be able to run my SQL or find my query, it would make life much easier. So let us get back to our SQL statement here. So I'm going to say here, select. Now remember, right at the beginning when we started, we used distinct. So we're going to use distinct again. Distinct left, whoops. Then the name and five. Now I'm going to set my new field as first five. And which table am I using? From TBL Studios. Okay. Uh, let's Okay, uh, let me just see what characters here. Uh, not student study studios. Oh, shows you where my brain is at the moment. Studios. Here we go. So what it's done here, it is now taken all the different um, studios that I have, but it's only going to display the first five characters. Okay, so this would be Disney, DreamWorks. Uh, Fox, I can't remember what that one is. Here's Paramount, there's Universal, okay. Here's Warner Brothers, but it's only gonna give me the first five characters. Okay, so let's see here. Now, I would like you to go to activity 4.14 this time you're gonna create the following queries using string functions. So this is where I'm specifically looking for a string and make sure to give each calculated field a relevant name. Okay, so again, I'm gonna go out of presentation mode so that I can enter in. Let's get my SQL up here. Okay, so the question says here, show the second third and fourth character of all studio, si uh, studio cities. Okay, so I'm going to give you about two seconds and then I would like you to give me an answer. So show the second, third and fourth character of all studio cities. So which, what fields am I looking for? I'm looking for studios cities. Okay, so the one that I'm going to use here is mid because it's going to be in the middle of my string. So select mid 
then my field is city and I said two three second third okay we'll see now if it comes out correctly second and third as city now this is my new field that I'm creating from TBL studios okay so let's just see show the second third and fourth character of all studio city so it's given me from the second position and it's going to give me three characters u l v o l l so you do see all of them unless the word did not have like um that many letters okay okay so let's try another one This time, show all movie titles as well as the length of the title. So I want to know how long is each title. Okay. So we are going to enter here. So this time, we'll probably use studios again. So select title. Now I want the length. So len, length of the title. So I use the same field again as set my new field from tbl and this time instead of studios i want movies close the space there and execute okay so there i can see what is the length of each title so 2012 would be four Alice in Wonderland 19 and so forth. Okay, so this is a nice little activity. If you have to test a thing that you could do here is you could actually test, say for example, someone's cell phone number that they had to enter into your pack or an ID number so that it must display how many characters they have entered. Okay, let's copy this into the slide. Okay, great. And we go back to our slideshow. Ah, come now. Okay, so you're going to complete activity 4.14 for me for homework. Okay, now what we're going to do is you've heard of the word concatenate. Um, and there are different ways of combining strings. So combining two strings, the final type of calculated fields is created by combining two strings. To do this, you simply add the one string to the second string using the plus operator. Not difficult. You've done this since grade 10 when you're building, um, we call it string handling. So as, as you're building your sentence, you want your show message uh, to say hello world and the person's name. So it would be show message in brackets hello world plus then s name. Okay, so let's see how we are going to do this. This can be combined with functions as str and format to combine numbers and dates with strings. So in this example 4.2.1 appending the percentage symbol to the score. So if I wanted to display your marks and I wanted a percentage sign at the end, then this is the same type of um, SQL statement that you would use. Here we are going to assign a percentage score to each movie. Okay. There we go. So let me just get back into our presentation. There we go. Okay, so this time I'm going to type in here select title, 
now my string and I want score is my field plus and make sure that you're putting your percentage in single quote so that it knows it's part of a string as and now I'm going to create a new field called score percentage from TBL movies and let us see what will let me just separate select and title and so there we go so as you can see here this is the score rating that each of these movies have received so the one i can see that has received the most is et so just to give away a bit of my age um i was about five years old when the original et was released i still remember it was one of our first drive-ins that we'd gone to that really takes me back quite some time so okay so et is still standing on the highest rating um and it was a really fantastic movie in my opinion okay so let's go on activity 4.15 create the following queries using tbl movies from the movies database okay um, you are going to do this in a Word document for me, please. Um, and you will write out your SQLs. So show all movie titles and incomes where the income is converted to billions. Therefore, divide by one billion. And the string, I want the um, acronym BN for billion to be added to the end. Okay, that's for question one. Question two says, show the movie studio's names and locations as city, province, country. So if I took your class list and I wanted to know where you all live, then I would take your class list, your class names, okay, and locations, and I'm going to specify city, province, and country. So which country do you come from? The last one is show all animals where the follow-up field has the value false so this means list the animal name reason for visit and the animal id and the string so no follow-up is required okay uh, i'm wondering if 4.15 is actually part of this one because it looks like it might be a different field but we will see what that says okay and then um Always remember to consider spaces when combining strings. Now, this is something that you know from grade 10. When you're concatenating strings, it's important to add the spaces in the necessary places, especially when you are using variable names or field names. Otherwise, it's all going to be squished together as one big word. Okay. Um, so, in the third question, a space is added after each comma. Okay. So let us take a look here. We're going to do um, activity for uh, question 4.15.1. Ah, let's hope I get these. So select title and I want a string. And now I'm going to do income. Um, let's going to cheat here a little let's see there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four. okay i've got a, a billion there plus add my string b in as and i wanted to to display in income in now why am i using underscore here okay the reason being, if I didn't, it wouldn't actually know what to do with it. Uh, Delphi doesn't always know what to do with spaces unless you specify that it is a space. From TBL Movies. Okay, there we go. So, this is actually quite nice. So this is much easier to read. But now, as I said there, um, I am 
looking for our lessons almost finished here so i'm just going to add a little space there between it's exactly what i've said to you to try and do ah there we go it displays a bit better there so there i can see it's 10.7758 billion for the 2012 movie okay okay great so you are going to complete that activity for me um there are a couple of these activities for, to you to com for you to complete today because um, I would like us to try and finish this section. Okay, um, the last part here I'm going to quickly just do is, let me just move this again. Okay. The last slide. Here, what you're going to do, this is a combined activity. So from all the different things that you've learned so far, write down the following queries using TBL movies from the movies database and the carnivores database. Okay, so you were working two different SQLs and you're going to answer these six questions. Remember, each of these need to be just, um, typed up in a Word document. You can do use your cell phone. You can do it in Google Docs. You can do it. Um, in WPS, any word processing document or software that you have. Okay, so please make sure that you are completing the work and I will post the activities for you. Um, I just want to check if we have any questions here. It looks like we're okay here. May you all have a wonderful time um, today. Stay warm. Um, make sure that you have something warm to eat and drink today and have a wonderful day. See you tomorrow, same place, same time.